Well, good morning, and thank you for joining us for our Wednesday webinar. Today is February 7th, and this is Glenda Robichaux, and with me back in action is Julie Gromitz. And I missed you, girl, but we still had some good fun. Yes, your videos have been great. And today we're going to talk about the emotional aromatherapy oils, and I'm really excited to talk more about these because they're amazing. Absolutely amazing. But let's just take a brief look at our agenda for the day. We are going to celebrate January. We've had some rank advancements and some um, top and rollers. Then we'll look at February's promotions. Then we'll get down to the emotional aromatherapy oils. And then in closing, we'll touch on the wellness summits and regional training and upcoming events. So January was a great start to 2018. Um, sometimes right after the holidays can be a little tough, it can be a little slow, but I think the, um, the new year, new you promotion that we'll talk about in a little bit has been incredibly helpful. And um, we've got some top and rollers. So congratulations to Rihanna Hicks, Sherry Goodman, Teresa Burns, Daria Borman, and Kim Dvorak. You guys are awesome. And some amazing rank advancements. Amy O'Brien, congrats, girlfriend, to um, make it to director. And Rihanna Hicks, uh, great job, Rihanna, getting to manager. So keep up the good work. February is going to be an amazing, amazing month. Super excited. So our product of the month this month is Melaleuca Touch. Um, I was really excited when this came out. I'm not a huge fan of the aroma of Melaleuca, but its medicinal benefits are top notch. And the touch bottle really provides a great way to apply it topically to those skin lesions, the irritations that you might get on your skin. So it's great for maybe after shaving or if you uh, cut yourself, brush up against something outside. Great rubbing it on fingernails or toenails. Um, it's really great on the bottoms of your uh, little athletes and their stinky feet. So uh, that's a really great way to use it. Um, and the Melaleuca Touch, that's one of the things that I like with the Oregano Touch as well putting them together um, and doing that on the bottoms of your feet for this particular season that we're in. You know, there tends to be a lot of people out there struggling right now with that funk that's going around. So the Melaleuc and Oregano can be really powerful together and this touch variety is a great way to get that. So make sure that you get your order put in before the 15th of the month. Make sure it is an LRP order and it is at 125 PV or more. So that's what will qualify you for this for free this month. And I love to keep any of the touch oils in my purse. They're just so easy to use when you're out and about in the world. So that's my plug. <laughs> that's a great, that's a great um, reminder, Glenda, because the thing about the touch oils, they are already diluted. And so it can be really, really easy to use without having to lug around that bottle of FCO with you too. Yep. And this month, our 10% off product is the Spa Body Butter and um, if you're listening and you're in Minnesota <laughs> or anywhere where it's cold, my skin is so dry. It's just, it's like weeping for moisture. <laughs> so this body butter is absolutely amazing to use after a shower or a bath. It smells absolutely beautiful with the wild orange and the Douglas fir and the frankincense in there. And it would make a wonderful gift for any of your loved ones for Valentine's Day. Oh, absolutely. And 10% off. How can you go wrong? I know. Um, Megan did want to pipe in and add that she, uh, her friend keeps them, keeps the touch oils, back to those, in her diaper bag. So that's another really great way to keep them around and utilize them. Oh, yes. Thank you, Megan. So cruising right along to the New Year, New Year promotion is extended through the end of February. 
So if you are new to essential oils and you would like to get your own um, wholesale membership, or if you have friends or family that you've maybe been buying them an oil here and an oil there lately, it might be time for them to get their own very own account. This is the month to do it. Um, if you enroll this month with 100 PV or more, and then you enroll in the Loyalty Rewards Program for March and do 100 PV or more, you get 100 PV free. That's like 100 free dollars of oil, 100 dollars of free oils. Um, it's just an awesome deal, and it's a great way to get started because I know when I was beginning with the oils, it was like I wanted them all, but I couldn't obviously afford them all right away. And it just gave me um, the loyalty rewards program is a great way to get started and to add to your collection every month. And um, so you eventually have all of the, the beautiful oils that you would like while earning free product back. But then you're also getting that hundred free, which is just awesome. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in getting started, contact myself or Julie or whoever might have clued you into the webinars because um, this is definitely the month to get started. This is my favorite promotion all year round. Mm -hmm. It rocks. So today's um, topic that we're going to be talking about is emotional aromatherapy. And I'm super excited about this topic. You know, when we use essential oils, um, one of the biggest ways that we use them is for their aroma. And the reason being is because when you inhale an essential oil, that um, essential oil gets up into the limbic part of your brain. Now, that limbic part of your brain is where our emotions are housed. It's also where um, we, our body just kicks right into kicks right into action without even thinking about it. It's kind of our primal brain. Um, I don't know if you found yourself ever acting before you even think, but the beautiful part of our limbic brain is it allows us to smell something dangerous like smoke and uh, you start to be alarmed right away. Or that dirty baby's diaper, it kind of gets you to stand up and kick into action before you even maybe put two and two together. And so that's the great thing about using something like um, essential oils for that emotional benefit is that we can apply them and our limbic brain kicks in and kicks on before we even consciously think about, I need to calm down, I need to relax. So you can pop that essential oil on and have it really start to, to promote that, that relaxation, that grounding, that um, encouraging or that uh, happiness that we might be desiring. Today we're going to go through the different um, essential oils and uh, whatnot that are in each blend. And I love this image. So here you'll see there are six of um, six emotional aromatherapy oil blends. And I love this circle because if you look at the top at Motivate, Motivate is actually a combination of mints and citrus. And then as you work your way around the dial there, each oil is in between two. And those are really kind of the, the, um, the plants that are involved, in, the oils that are involved in that blend that give them their unique qualities. And then towards the middle, you can see, you know, if you're just feeling kind of distressed and gloomy because it's winter and it's below zero and it feels like it's never going to end, <laughs> Here and motivate. Both of those might be good oils to go to um, to help lift you out of that mood and get you going. Another thing to think about with this is if you're not really sure where to go, you know, close your eyes and flash them open. And the first color that catches your eye, that might be where you need to be. That might be what's drawing you in. Ooh. That a fun way to do that. And another way to kind of determine what oil you might be needing today is hop on to the Daily Drop app. I don't know if you've um, 
if you guys have gone on, but they have an app both for Android and Apple. It's called The Daily Drop. I believe it's free. And it is an opportunity not only to um, get little two-minute videos delivered to your phone so that you can continue your education of essential oils, but they also have a discover your mood. And so you can type in there if you're feeling discouraged or gloomy or distressed or somber, disinterested or bored or a myriad of other things. And you can kind of determine what you're feeling today and they will give you a, um, they'll feed you the oils that you need for that particular day, which is pretty great. I have forgotten about that. Thank you, Julie. Mm, I love that. That really is an awesome little test to do. It kind of, I believe the mood oils are in there too. Yep. Yeah. Very awesome. And also, um, you can Google this image too. You know, might be one to save, to have handy. Um, I believe it's also on doTERRA.com's website somewhere. It is, and you can actually order it as well through doTERRA.com. Oh, that's right. Poster. Yes. And when you get your kit, if you were to order all six of these together in their emotional aromatherapy kit, which we'll get to later, it does come with the kit as well. Awesome. So we're going to do a deep dive into each of these oils just to give you a little more of an idea of what's in them and um, how you can get them working for you. So we will start with peace. This is one of my favorites out of the six. Um, it's got vetiver, lavender, ylang ylang, frankincense, clary sage, marjoram, labdanum, and spearmint. Um, and I love, I should go back, the emotional aromatherapy oils also all come in, the, in a rollerball as part of a touch line. And I keep the piece touch in my purse. Um, because I just love it for moments when I'm out in the world and I start to get kind of uh, anxious. I'm a very anxious driver. <laughs> so I love to have this one just on me all the time. The other thing I love about the peace oils, because the vetiver and the lavender is in there, this is a great one if you have trouble sleeping. Um, I will put this on the bottoms of my feet before I go to bed at night. And it really helps me to just relax and unwind and get a great night's sleep. So I don't know if, Julie, if you have any other tidbits about this oil you want to add? Well, I've got teenage daughters, um, and this is definitely their go-to for both of them. Um, they uh, use it either at night or at school or both because of those same reasons. You know, when you are young, your brain is, it's all over the place. Heck, when we're old, our brain is all over the place. <laughs> But I think that um, as a young girl, you're conscious, co constantly aware of everyone around you and usually thinking that everyone around you is thinking about you. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a really great way to really get, um, get out of your head and allow yourself that, that peace in your mind and your body. And uh, I love the fact that it's the reassuring blend. You know, it really does. I love looking at that secondary name because it really does provide a, an additional insight to what this oil is going to do for you. So not only is it going to be peaceful, but it helps in those instances of I need to stand up in front of a group of people and talk, or I need to pick up the phone and make this um, uncomfortable phone call. So uh, really take a look and um, dive in. I love this oil. It's a really great one. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, using that secondary name, if you are looking things up in your Modern Essentials book, your um, uh, the Essential Life book or your Emotional Healing book, the, they will be listed as the secondary blend names. So look for Peace under Reassuring Blend. And Megan says that she loves Peace. It calms her nerves so beautifully, even when she's not sure why she's feeling off. Putting Peace on helps her to quickly feel better. Mm. 
love it. Thank you, Megan. So cruising right along. And I just want to also add, these blends are absolutely amazing in a diffuser. Mm. So all of the emotional aromathe aromatherapy oils are just going to be for aromatic or topical use. Um, but diffusing them is just oh, lovely. Lovely. So the next one we're going to talk about is passion. And I would say this is probably my one of my second favorites or first favorite. I don't know. <laughs> But it's got um, fractionated coconut oil in it um, for a base, and then it's cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, clove, sandalwood, jasmine, vanilla bean, and... Damiana. Thank you. And it just is, it's so beautiful. I love to take a drop of this one in my palm and just breathe it in. Um, also... Side note, so let's say that you only have your emotional aromatherapy oils on you and you start to have some stomach discomfort. This is a great one to apply topically on your stomach for any um, needs there because of the cardamom is very good for digestive support. The ginger, those will really help with any discomfort that way. But back to the emotional um, pieces of this. You know, Julie talked about that second name, the inspiring blend, and it just you know, it really helps you open up and, and kind of get inspired and move through your day. And it just smells so amazing. Mm -hmm. When I first thought about this one, when I first learned about this one, I really just thought it was for, you know, creating passion in the bedroom, which is, <laughs> you know, it's a thing. It's important, especially we think about that this time of the year with uh, Valentine's Day coming up. But it really is important to have that spark, that desire, that drive in your life. Um, my daughter is going through health class right now. She's a 10th grader and she was really like thrown back. Her health teachers started asking her, you know, they asked them to do a, a worksheet and fill out what are your passions? What are your dreams? What are your desires? And she didn't have a clue as to why that was necessary or relevant in health class. But I really truly firmly believe that when we can live life from a place of passion, when we are driving towards something that we desire, something that we believe, something that we um, really feel passionately about, our health and our wellness, both physically and mentally, is going to thrive. So uh, utilizing this passion oil to inspire you to create more, to um, promote more, to find what drives you um, can really definitely help both your emotional and your physical well-being. Mm -hmm. Pop on the passion, baby. I have it sitting at my desk and I just took a drop. Oh, just smells so amazing. <laughs> Too bad we don't have the way to uh, disperse scent through our computers yet. <laughs> oh, I know. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> It'd be fun to give a webinar and just be giving little poofs of the... <laughs> oh, that would be fun. See the inspiring blend. It's just inspiring ideas. Yes, yes. And next we have cheer. Mm. This is such a nice one. You know, this time of year, I believe we just get so down with the darkness and the snow and the cold weather, and it feels like it's never going to end. Um, so cheer is a really great one with the citrus oils in it, the wild orange, um, it's got clove buds, star anise, lemon myrtle, nutmeg, vanilla, ginger, cinnamon, and zerevitz herb. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it really does create this um, optimism and cheerfulness. So it's a really great oil when you are feeling that kind of discouraged or down. Um, says it's the uplifting blend. So it can help with, um, with those feelings of discouragement. Yes, beautiful. Next we have Motivate. And Motivate is just a beautiful blend of citrus and mints. So it's got peppermint, clementine peel, coriander, 
basil, yuzu peel, melissa, rosemary, and vanilla bean. And it just, you know, if you, you're dragging on something you've got to get done and it's like, oh, how am I going to do this? Start diffusing some Motivate and put some on and whoo, you'll be ready to go. Just really helps kind of get you moving, promotes those feelings of confidence and courage that you can get something done. Um, and really helps counteract those negative thoughts that might creep in. Um, it's just beautiful. Something that I love to do that um, Julie and I were having coffee one day, and whatever we were talking about brought to mind the Passion and Motivate Oil, and I, we put a drop of both of them in our palms, and those two together smell incredible. Mm -hmm. So if you have Motivate and Passion, I encourage you to try a drop of each of them together um, because it's really cool and I always am a little hesitant with combining blends but those two just really kind of yeah. elevate them even more if that's even possible yeah. so. and I love this essential oil tip apply to your shirt collar before giving a speech to instill feelings of confidence mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So be a great one also to put over um, your third chakra, the solar plexus. Mm. That's where we hold a lot of self-worth and, you know, if that gets, that chakra is um, not as open, you might, you might need this to kind of help get that self-confidence and courage to, to go do what you need to do. Love it. This has been one that I cannot keep in stock. Um, console the comforting blend. It is an amazing blend of um, flowers and resins. It is very, very grounding. It has frankincense, patchouli, ylang ylang, labdanum, amorous bark, sandalwood, osmanthus, rose. It is honestly, when these six were introduced to me, I don't like any of them except for this one. This was the only one that I liked. And I was actually also really struggling with a, a severe bladder infection. It was pretty awful. But this is the only one that I wanted. This is the only one that I liked, and it's the comforting blend. You know, it, um, it has this sweet, musky smell to it, but you know, it is like a big giant hug. It's like being wrapped in a blanket. It is so comforting. Um, and it's one of those things, this one and the next one, um, that when people are going through a loss, a death, a loss of job, a, uh, just a down point in their life, this can really be that, that foundation, that grounding, that big giant comforting hug that they need to help them get through this point in time. Um, again, with the, uh, with the grounding that it provides, it's also one of the great oils for sleep. Mm. Oh. I never thought about it for sleep. Yeah. Yeah. It's like wrapping yourself up in a big blanket. It is. And I, too, can't, I am always somehow out of this one because I always end up giving it to someone who needs it. <laughs> yeah. Um, because there's a lot of people that are, that are suffering and everyone needs a little bit of comfort. So it's a great one to have on hand, um, just to always have on hand because you never know who's going to need it. I've actually started creating um, little tiny sample roller bottles with console and forgive because <laughs> they tend to be the, the two. Yeah. <laughs> I like to also the tip on this one is to put a little bit on shirt collar or scarf so you can smell throughout the day and I've actually put it on a scarf before and it is really nice because it kind of does you know waft or you can smell it when you need when you need that or if you have like a diffuser necklace mm -hmm. it's a great one to pop in there Forgive, my second favorite lately. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful blend. Um, 
And it has your spruce, your bergamot, juniper berry, myrrh, arborvitae, mutka, thyme, and citronella. And this is just a great oil when you're feeling that anger, when you're feeling impatient, maybe a little bit of guilt. Um, and sometimes not only do we have to forgive other people, but oftentimes we need to forgive ourselves, you know, whether it's that deadline that you missed or that habit that you just can't seem to break or get yourself into. Um, so often we are way harder on ourselves than we are on those around us. And so allowing yourself to forgive, you know, forgive yourself or forgive that one person that may have done something wrong to you. We hold this negativity, we hold this anger in our physical body. And as a massage therapist, I find so often people have this stuck area between the shoulder blades, right around the heart. And intuitively, I will reach for this forgive oil, not for everybody, but for some people. And it's really quite amazing how one drop over the heart, working that into the muscles, it really does help to open up. Um, so if you have that, that shoulder pain, if you have that area of tightness or stickiness over the heart, try a little bit of forgive. Put it on topically, inhale it, Think about how you can create some peace, some forgiveness over yourself or of somebody else in your world and allow that healing to happen, allow that openness to occur because it can really create quite a, quite a shift in, in your mental and physical body. Wow. I couldn't, I uh, couldn't have said it any better, my dear. So now that's all six of the emotional oils. And uh, something that Julie and I talked about is you kind of want to have these ahead of time <laughs> mm -hmm. and not have to, oh, yes, you want to be prepared because I, I don't know about you, Julie, but in an in a average day, I experience many of those emotions. <laughs> and... Um, you want to have those on hand and available for your use. Absolutely. Absolutely. I thought, that, thought that picture was fun. <laughs> you certainly don't want to be waiting those three to five days. No. That console. No. Make things way longer. Ta-da! So we want you today to know your options and that we want you to know that there is not only, you know, the five mil bottles that you can get the set of six, but that there's also the set of six in the doTERRA touch line. So those are, again, they're diluted with fractionated coconut oil and just great to roll on. Um, and I really, I mean, I'm always ordering these and making sure that I have kind of one on hand as a back stock because they're just amazing. They're really amazing. And something else that we didn't really touch on too much is that, you know, when you, when you don't deal with these emotions that you're feeling, well, I guess Julie did touch on it. They do get stuck in your body. And as they get stuck, they start to cause dis-ease in the body. And I truly believe that at the root of all illness is emotions that have not been dealt with. So it's really important when you're in the heat of a moment to acknowledge that wow, I'm really angry right now, and to, you know, use some forgive or some peace and, you know, figure out why you're feeling that anger and then let it go. Don't let it stay in your body. Just kind of process through it and release it. Um, it's so important. So important. Absolutely. And, you know, using these oils, you can do the five mil bottles are great for putting in a diffuser. So if you are listening to this webinar and you have not ordered, if you have not um, enrolled with doTERRA yet, they have a tremendous offer right now with the New Year, New You promotion. And these six oils with a diffuser are one of your enrollment kits. It's $195. 
before tax and shipping. And it comes with the, my favorite diffuser, the new Lumo. Um, so these six oils you can use with your diffuser. But one of the things that I love to do is actually take the six oils in the five mil and create my own roller bottle touch oils with it. So I like to encourage people to buy the six in the five mil and a bottle of fractionated coconut oil because then they can create their own touch variety. Now the touch blends are diluted. So like I said, get the little ones, put some fractionated coconut oil in it, you'll create your touch. But if all you want is the touch, those that six for your wholesale price is $100 which is another great, really great um, way to throw it on your LRP and throw that on there, grab a bottle of whatever else you need for the month and get your free uh, Mel Luca Touch. Mm -hmm. Really great way to do that, so. And if you already have um, a membership, you can add these to your LRP as well. So if you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I need a little bit of motivate. <laughs> All right, so I believe that um, we've got some great events and whatnot coming up. Uh, Wellness Summit in St. Paul here, February 23rd and 24th. There are some other really great um, locations and dates coming up around the uh, country as well. So if you are not in the uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul area, hop on to doTERRA.com. And even if you are, hop on to doTERRA.com <laughs> and uh, look at their events page. And it will have all of these listed along with the link in which you can sign up. So hop on, take a look. If you've got friends or family in some of these other areas, encourage them to go out and check it out. The Wellness Summit is going to be a blend of essential oil knowledge as well as some great business training. And then they've got regional trainings. And regional trainings are um, specifically essential oil knowledge. So there's not going to be any business trainings with the regional trainings, but they came last year and did a regional training, and it was awesome. It was two days of really, really great information. Um, and I loved how they just dove into some of our different products. So it's pretty awesome. Hop on, get your seat. And we've got some upcoming events here in the Twin City area that uh, Glenda and I are doing personally, not corporate events, but um, our events. Yes. <laughs> so we've got a webinar, our webinar next week. It is going to be on Valentine's Day. We are going to talk all about the love. Okay. So hop on and join us in how we can use our essential oils to promote love in your life. Our next monthly business meeting we are having, it is typically the second Saturday this month and next month, actually. It's going to be the third Saturday, um, the 17th, 8 a.m., and you don't have to go anywhere. Just hop online, just like you're doing right now. We'll have it via Zoom chat. And let us know if you are going to be part of that because we do have a code for you to join us as we'll be getting a little bit more intimate with that. Um, make and take. We've got a make and take at Unwind Within on enhancing intimacy a couple days before uh, Valentine's Day. So February 12th. Come on by, we'll be making some sheet spray and some fun, other fun things to enhance your intimacy. Um, at Unwind Within, we've got a Intro to Oils class. It's a great uh, introduction class that if you are new to essential oils, you can hop in. If you're old to essential oils and just want another um, little refresher course, come on by, bring a friend. Great way to utilize that um, New Year, New You promotion as well. 
and our team events. We're doing, uh, we're moving things to the last Tuesday of each month, starting February 27th. And this month, I'm super excited. We're going to do a game night. So it'll be a trivia game night, um, kind of Jeopardy style. So I will have the little cheaters, little pointers um, posted on Facebook. So you can stay tuned to the Midwest Essential Mamas Facebook page and we'll be doing some fun uh, insight to the questions and answers that we'll be using. So hop on, get yourself educated and come on out and play. So we'll have some fun, some fun treats and some prizes and whatnot for that. So head on out and we'll have some fun. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you learned something about the emotional aromatherapy line. And if nothing else, I hope that you grant yourself peace and give yourself some grace. Have a wonderful week. Bye guys. <laughs>